2013-14 men's basketball season is underway, we sat down with senior center Chris Patton just prior to Midnight Madness to get his take on the upcoming campaign. Chris, thanks so much for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. Well, we're about a week out uh, for Midnight Madness, a few days away. Practice has already begun. First real games only two weeks from now, but you've had some time to prepare for this season. Let's take me back to the summer. What did you do to prepare for the season personally to improve as a player? Um, I played a lot this summer. That was my one of my main goals was to get in as many pickup games, open gym. Um, played all over Southern California. Played with a lot of NBA players um, and Euro European players. Um, so I was really trying to work on my left hand, um, improve my speed a little bit, um, improve my strength, improve my overall game. But um, you know, really, really was focusing on my left hand a lot this summer. Well, one of the things that the team's going to benefit from this year is the ability to practice a little earlier than we normally might have with the trip to Vancouver. We were able to practice for a couple of weeks before that trip. First, speak to the trip to Vancouver. What was that like? Uh, had you ever been to Vancouver, and what was the whole experience like for you and the team? Um, no, I'd never been to Canada, um, so uh, I was really excited to get up there. And uh, you know, it was a beautiful city, right on the water, and a lot of trees, and just really nice nature and parks, that kind of stuff. Um, it was really, it was a really good experience for the team. We learned a lot about ourselves, about the coaches, um, about our roles. I think everyone kind of ha has their role defined now on the team going into the Vancouver trip. I think guys were a little bit. Um, unsure about where they fit in. Um, so coming back, you know, we got three good wins against three pretty, uh, pretty decent teams. So we feel really confident. Um, but it really just gave us an opportunity also to get to know each other a lot better and, you know, bond a lot. I was rooming, I roomed with uh, Nick Greniger um, on the trip and me and him got pretty close from that. Uh, and I think a lot of the guys kind of formed tighter relationships with just everybody. Well, you mentioned one of the positives of going to Vancouver was being able to work with the coaching staff partially a new coaching staff. Dennis Cutts was promoted to the interim head coach and he brought a couple of new people in. What was it like seeing Dennis in that head coach's role after having played for him as a year and as assistant? Uh, it was great. I was really happy for him. Um, I, was, I already had a pretty tight relationship with um, coach before he, was, um, before he was moved up to the um, head coaching, um, before he was moving up to the head coaching job. And, you know, I knew he had um, bigger aspirations and um, me and him had talked about coaching a few times and had some really good talks. So, I was really excited for him, and um, after that first win, I, it was great that the first first game he's ever a head coach of, you know, we got a really good win against uh, a really big, loud away crowd. Um, I could see the passion in him. You know, you see it every day of practice, how passionate he is about the team and how much he really cares about um, individually each guy and improving improving each guy. Um, he spends a lot of time on, on working on skill work. Um, so you can really see how much he really wants this. Well, let's turn to the players a little bit. You mentioned some of the newcomers. You roomed with one of the newcomers to the squad this year. Uh, who's impressed you so far among that class? And it's a group that's actually a little older than last year's newcomers, which was predominantly freshmen. Yeah, it's a, they're a lot older. I think most of the um, juniors are older than me, and I'm a senior, so uh, that's a little bit different. But, uh, um, you know, they've all really impressed me. They all bring something different to the table. Um, you know, Nick's going to be like, he's going to be a really good point guard for us, steady with the ball, really smart. He's not going to make a whole lot of mistakes. Uh, he's going to feed everybody. He's very unselfish. Um, you know, Colin's going to be a really solid guy for us. Um, and then Steve Thornton is just kind of, he just brings you a little bit of everything. He's a bit of a jack of all trades. Um, so, you know, I'm really excited about those, those newcomers. Um, Sam's the only freshman and... Uh, He's, uh, he's a funny character. Um, he's, you know, he had a really good Vancouver trip. Um, I think he was, he was, he led, he led the team second with leading scorer on the trip. And um, he was really just a killer out there. Every time he touched the ball, he looked like he was going to score it or do something good with it. Um, and that really, that was something that we were kind of lacking last year, <coughs> um, scoring from the guard position. He's very comfortable doing that. That's what he likes to do. Uh, and he did it in a high rate in Vancouver, so that's really that was really exciting to see. Let's talk about the returning players. The only uh, graduating senior last year was Robert Smith. Bring back Chris Harriel, a number of other players, Austin Quick. Who amongst the, the old guard coming back has impressed you? Um, <coughs> I would say uh, Taylor would take the cake on that one. He's really taken a lot of strides this summer. Um, I think he's looking forward to having a much bigger role on the team. Um, he's been doing really well in practice, and he's always he's always been a good defender. But I think this year he's he's um, he's going to be probably one of the best, if not the best, defenders in the entire league. Um, Steve Jones also took a lot of 
uh, a lot of steps this summer. Um, I think it's that freshman to sophomore, they kind of they kind of know what they're getting themselves in for now. And um, So yeah, Steve Jones and Taylor, I reckon, really took some good strides this summer. I'm excited to see what they bring to the table come, uh, come our first game. Well, this is your senior season, actually the, the first year in a while that you've played on the same squad uh, for back-to-back -back years after going through the community college gauntlet. What, uh, what are you expecting from yourself as a senior, both on a personal level as well as, uh, as on the court? Um, well, yeah, I, this is the first time I've, as you said, been on two teams in a row. You know, I can't remember the last time I was, I, I was returning on the same team. Um, this is my fourth year, I'm fourth different head coach, so, but uh, you know, I think for the most part this team structure is going to be um, similar to what I was last year, but a lot better. Um, from this year, you know, I expect a lot from myself. I hold myself to a pretty high standard. I just expect myself to kind of get better on every level and help the team win more games. Um, that's the main thing. I don't want to. I don't want my senior year to be remembered. I, I want it to be remembered for winning games. Um, that's my main thing. So this year, I just want to kind of bring a winning, winning culture and winning, winning mentality to this team, this program. You mentioned it a little bit with that answer, but what are the team goals for this year? Have you articulated anything specific? Yeah, you know, this, this team set some, um, set some pretty lofty goals for ourselves. We sat down and, with the coaching staff and um, spoke about that, most of which I would like to keep in-house. I think that's something sort of between us and the team. But, you know, there's no doubt we expect to be um, <clears throat> the last team remaining um, and cutting down nets. Um, we've all said that that's what we'd like to do. Um, we're not playing for second or third um, or moral victories. Um, so... You know this team's got this team's got a long way to accomplish the goals, but certainly we have set, set ourselves some um, some pretty high standards, um, all of which we th really think we can achieve. You talk about cutting down the nets in March. What are the things that will have had to happen along the way for this team to grow into the team that can be cutting down the nets come March? Um, you know this team's gonna this team's got a, lo a long way to go still. It's still really early days, and we're not 100% sure what we're going to get what we've got ourselves in for. Just with uh, you know this team's got a lot of figuring out to do with within itself. But um, you know we're gonna have to put in a lot of work. Practice is gonna be real tough. It's not gonna be. There's not gonna be a whole lot of fun practices, and um, you got to kind of. Coach Cuts always says you got to embrace the grind, and that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to enjoy the um, the long practices, and then the the flights and the bus rides, and then getting off a bus and practicing, getting off a flight and practicing, um, and just growing each day. Each day that we get a chance to either play or have a shoot around or have a practice, we got to grow and get a little bit better. Um, you know, if we can do that, I think we've got a really good chance. Chris, thanks for joining us today. Good luck to you and the Highlanders this season. Thank you.